Hi guys, today I'm going to be chatting about six different high-end products that I think are absolutely worth the money. Now that doesn't mean that they're completely undupable and there's nothing out there like them, but these are just like six really solid products that I love that have a little bit of a higher price tag, but they are so good. There's one product in here that I hoped to hate and ended up absolutely loving. So if I have any further reviews or anything on these products, I will link them down below. I have two dedicated reviews about uh, two of them. And if you are curious about this makeup look, I did film like an IG reel, which I will have linked down below. And if you enjoy this style of video, be sure to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. So why don't we talk about the product that I wanted to hate? And it's not that I wanted to hate it, but I was just like, this is $90. $90. I was like, Pat, listen, my friend, I know that you are one of the top of your field. I'm sure you know what you're doing, but 90, Pat? 90? This is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Now, my friends, this is so good. I have a full dedicated review on this. I wear it throughout the day. I have been wearing it ever since I bought it. I've worn it for live television, for like big shoots. I've worn it on just an average day. It looks so good. And it's not the type of product that you need to have rich people skin for, as I've dubbed it. Some products out there, they're like, okay, yeah, that looks good because it has 2% coverage and you get a facial monthly. This is not that type of product. I've worn this when I've had good skin. I've worn it as my skin has started to go downhill. It really looks good. Now, I have more combo skin at the minute. It's really kind of all over the place, so I can't say for sure how well this would work on really oily skin, but it holds up. It looks so good. It has like a watery consistency, but it's buildable and has really beautiful coverage. Looks so good on the skin in person, in photos, in film. It is very versatile. It has a great shade range as well. I really, really like this shade for myself. I'm wearing uh, medium 18 and it's beautiful. Now, obviously, are there other great drugstore foundations out there? Yes, but if you were curious about this, you might wanna pick it up for the VIB sale. Is that happening now? I'm probably late on this video. I'm pre-filming a couple of videos, but either way, maybe add it to the Christmas list. It is a really, really delightful foundation. Now, this product probably won't come as much of a surprise, and it's not super high-end. I can't remember, like, how much this costs. It's definitely not in the Pat McGrath category, but this is the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. Now, I have used other brow gels, but only begrudgingly, pretty much. There's other ones that I like. I'm like, yeah, you're good and stuff, but, like, this is my baby. And I love this so much. I know everybody talks about the Gimme Brow. I'm like... <clears throat> I have no interest in Gimme Brow. Um, I guess I kind of have different brow needs though to a lot of people because most people are kind of building a brow, you're drawing one in, you want those fibers and the color. For me, I just want something that's gonna lock this thing into place, make my brows look fluffy and full, but keep them in place because I have quite a bit of brow hair and I love the brush on it. I love the formula. It's clear, but it's not too shiny. It's not matte and clumpy. I've never dabbled into like soap brows or the got to be gel and stuff. Like I know that those will lock your brows into place too, but I don't know. I'm not huge on like DIY sort of stuff. And I know that like, I'm going to get the soap and it's just going to be annoying. Like this for me is the easiest <laughs> and it's just so freaking good. I use it over and over. I've gone through countless, countless of these. So if you're on the hunt for something good and you like, like this has like a bit of a thicker, or not a thicker brush, it's a thin brush, but it's plastic. I tend to prefer something that's a little bit bigger over the really tiny brow brushes. Uh, and I just think this is phenomenal. A brand that I had never really tried much of and didn't have a lot of interest in trying was Charlotte Tilbury. And again, it goes back to the rich people skin thing. It just kind of seemed like a brand that wasn't for me. It seemed like it was a brand that was made more for fair skin as well. So it was just kind of like, Ugh, whatever. But um, I don't know what I got first. I don't know who encouraged me to try this powder. And then they also started sending me PR, but I bought this powder myself. I can't remember who told me to try it maybe my friend Aisha who has a YouTube channel, but this powder, I've hit pan on it. So the bummer with this one is that it's definitely a higher end price and you're not getting a ton of product. So like, I have no justifiable reason outside of the actual product itself is glorious. And I know some of you have tried it that have bigger pores or texture on your skin or not huge powder wearers, and it just looks so soft. So it is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I have it in the shade three, which you can see looks like, not light, but it is a really good shade for my skin. But what's interesting, my friend Aisha, who I'm at about an NC42, she's probably in the NC50s, I would say. 
she uses this as well. So although there's only three shades in the range, it does seem to um, have quite a range within one shade because if I'm wearing it and she's wearing it, I see quite a big range there. So it just really kind of blurs. It doesn't look powdery. It's not heavy. You can set your makeup with it. You can touch up with it. You could probably use it on its own as well. I have the shade three that I use on my face and I have shade two, which I love for the under eyes. And it's a really glorious, glorious powder. And a lot of the stuff that I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury, I've been like, Ooh, that's actually really, really great. Like their face stuff especially is delightful, but that powder for me stands out. Now we're gonna talk about my arch nemesis, Kevin Aquan. Um, this is a powder that haunts my dreams. It haunts me, it haunts my dreams. I have a full dedicated review on this from a couple of years ago when it came out. You'll notice I mentioned this in a recent video if it's not up already, I'm keeping it in the box. Then he's in his powder container, like be a bougier product than here. This is the third one that I have, okay? This costs like 60 bucks or something. But the reason that I love this, and there's probably, there, I'm sure there's great contour powders. The reason that this is worth the money for me is the formula, yes, but the color specifically, Formula 2 is amazing, but from my skin tone, I find it very hard to find actual contour powders that have a little bit of coolness to them without them being gray or without them being really too deep for me. This is the perfect shade. They came out with this shade a couple of years back in the shade Deep. They obviously could expand their shade range there, but the shade in combination with the fact that the formula is so good, besides the fact that I've broken two, but I mean, again, it goes to show that I've repurchased it because it's basically irreplaceable to me. I did try recently an essence powder that I feel like is similar. I haven't swatched them side by side. I'll link that video down below um, in a big turn of price range. They've got a good shade for me, but the formula on this, it's like you can't overdo it. It's so blendable. It really does sculpt my face in a way that no other powder does. So that's why... I have to like hire a secret service agent and I tried to put it back together with alcohol. It didn't work. Listen, I've tried. You are worth it, but I hate it, but I love it. Up next is a concealer and I feel like concealer and brow gel are kind of the two places, not that I don't experiment with concealers, but like I definitely tend to reach for the same one over and over and over. So like for a long time, it was NARS Creamy. Then it was Tarte Shape Tape. Wow, I almost forgot the name. Shape Tape was like so iconic for a while there. But I have been on the old Too Faced Multi Using Sculpting Concealer game for a while now. And this is a high end item, but the huge bonus with this is the fact that it's actually huge. It's not that the packaging looks gigantic, you're getting 0.5 fluid ounces in here. So this is half the size of an actual bottle of foundation. Like, let me compare it to. Do I have another concealer here? I know I do. Let's see, I've got this Hourglass Concealer. This has 0.2 fluid ounces. So this is more than double the size of this and this probably costs more. So although you're like gonna have to pay that upfront price, this is actually a really good deal. And I just love the coverage. I think it is very similar. Like I'm, I don't really much like medium coverage concealers. I feel like they don't, they make me look worse somehow. I love a more full coverage concealer, even though I still like a medium coverage foundation. I feel like I have more flexibility with the full coverage. I can really just put like a little, you can put a little bit more like I have today. I love the shade range. I've actually worn two different shades in this. I have warm beige and there's another shade that I've worn. I have a full dedicated review on this as well, actually. I'll link that down below. Um, I think this is a phenomenal, it's not as matte as the Shape Tape, but it has just as much coverage and it's more long lasting and it has like a soft matte to it. I think it's really such a fabulous concealer and um, so, like the original Born This Way concealer that they came out with like four or five years ago was oh, trash. This is so good. And the last product I wanna talk about is another one, like these are all very well loved products. Like she's held together with painter's tape. And you'll notice a lot of these products are ones that I did use in my full face of t makeup I wore for TV. Like this is makeup I truly trust and love and have used obviously a lot, okay? And the reason that I love this, and I've talked this product to death, it is the Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter in Mean Money Hustle Baby is the duo. I think that this, you can see I've hit pan on this satin highlighter. If you have texture, if you're looking for a more natural look, this is, <laughs> excuse me, 
This is perfect. I love putting this on like all of the high points on my face and maybe just use that. Or if I want to go in and add a little more zhuzh, I'll come in and add this. And the shade is perfect. The textures of both are perfect. I think it is so unique. I traveled with it when traveling was a thing because it had that, um, kind of versatility, I guess, to go a couple of different ways. And I just think it's, it's, so good and to me I don't think there's much I don't know that there's anything out there that has like two highlighters side by side that isn't like a full palette it's not big it's not chunky there might be things out there but this to me is phenomenal I think I've said that about everything but truly all of these products are so good I love them a lot they're things that I have used time and time again for at least a year on all of them for the only one, the newest one to me, I guess, would be the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and the Pat McGrath. Those are within the last year, but I've been using them solidly. The rest, using nonstop, repurchasing. Love them, love them, love them. So let me know down below if you have any high-end products that you feel are like, ooh, that is absolutely worth the money. If you'd like me to do more of these, I was thinking about doing one for skincare. There's a couple of really unique products that I love in terms of skincare. I could probably do more for makeup too, but these are definitely the most solid items in my collection. I was debating putting in, it was a last second call, the um, Urban Decay All Nighter because this is my favorite setting spray of all time, but I do have a bunch others that are really close, but this would probably be my favorite, so I'll say that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!